Hey, what's up everybody? It's Richie here. We are back. We are a little bit sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. And I can definitely feel it when I'm trying to talk. Not only because it hurts, but because my words are a little bit garbled today. So if you hear any of that, hey, I I'm sick. I'm sick. Let it go. But today we are checking out Snapshot 17W06 Alpha, an experimental version of Minecraft 1.12, which will be the next update. And what they've changed so far is really, really cool. Let's just go into daytime really quick. And yeah, basically this update so far is about colors. We've added three new blocks and we've updated one, which is the wool block right here. You might not be able to see it, but the textures have been edited so that the colors are just a little bit brighter, a little bit more vivid, which does make an interesting and probably better color palette in Minecraft. I'm sorry, palette, not not palette. Um, it does it does seem like it could be a little too much. Like you don't want your builds to be too vibrant. But I don't, I don't think that will be that much of an issue. And they look really cool. The change happened to sheep too. And you probably can't even see it. But if I were to take a screenshot of this and then compare it to a screenshot of this world with an older version of Minecraft, you'd probably be able to tell that the colors were a little bit paler. But that's not the cool thing that's happening right here. The cool thing is our three new blocks, concrete powder, concrete, and glazed terracotta. Trust me, these things are amazing. The first thing I want to go over, concrete powder can be crafted like this, with four gravel in the corner, four sand in a diamond, and the dye of choice in the center, which will of course determine what color the concrete is. That'll give us a block called concrete powder, which basically acts like sand. It's a colored sand, it will fall, it looks cool, but the best part about this comes when you add water, much like actual concrete. Because if we put this down and place water next to it, it becomes a solid block of the brightest color you can pretty much have in Minecraft. It's this section of blocks up here, regular solid concrete, and I have to say, it is really, really cool that they've given us this palette, and also cool that there's this mechanic with concrete where it tur it starts as sand and then you turn it into water. And the cool thing about that is actually, I don't know why that's draining, oh yeah, but if we drop this down and it hits the water, you can see it instantly turns into concrete, which actually this draining waterfall gives me an idea because we could have an insta-built staircase with a little redstone and a lot of this. But this is really cool. I'm really excited about just how that change happens and how fun it is. But honestly, the thing I'm most pumped about is the terracotta. These are like pattern blocks, like mosaic blocks. And they they are insane. Basically, if we place this the right way, we get a pattern and that pattern, um, let's try to figure this out, is infinitely repetitive. It will go on and on the more blocks we add. We can actually get a slightly different image by placing the blocks differently. And we can have really cool, infinitely repeating patterns of any color. Sorry, my voice is getting, um, bleh. It's getting all bleh. Give me a sec. And basically, each of these terracotta colors is a different, infinitely repeating pattern, which I really like. I don't know how Minecrafty it feels. Just like, we've never had anything, in fact, anything like this before, besides actually Bedrock, which has a different orientation every time, so it has a different pattern, but I, I don't think anyone was using Bedrock for decorative blocking. It, they're not... I don't particularly love the blocks. I mean, I can see where I would use them, but I would use them sparingly. I wouldn't... Eh, something like this I could probably build a floor out of, but not something like this with these arrows. Though the cool thing with this is if you want an arrow to somewhere, you can be like, boom, here's an arrow. And they are directional, so... um, 
it's always tricky to place directional objects, but they sometimes place in the direction you want them to. No? No? Uh, okay. Okay, they, they take a while to figure out, and I'm always bad at doing them. But to make them, it's, like, super, super simple. You just have to take a hardened piece of clay of the correct color, and you put it in a furnace, you bake it, wait a minute, and then you get some glazed terracotta, and you can use that to complete your pattern. It's pretty cheap, it's pretty cool. I, I might want them to refine it a little, but I really hope this is something we go through with, because these two patterns would be really, really helpful on the super secret project for the Richie's World, which may or may not have come out yet. I'm I'm sorry. For Right now, for me, it's Wednesday, and I'm really sick, so I'm just recording all day, which is just... Ugh, yeah, my voice hurts. But I'm making a bunch of videos, and one of them is a Richie's World, and one of them... it it's It's the Richie's World with the Nether Hub. And if you haven't seen it yet, then hey, we're building another hub. But unfortunately, guys, that's just about all the time I have for today. I'll probably have the Richie's World I mentioned out later this week and a few other videos out too. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope I feel better soon. I really almost have to apologize for my voice because it's all scratchy and it hurts. It hurts when I talk and it probably hurts when you hear it. Yeah. But until the next time, guys, this has been Richie and I'm out. I'll see ya.